Hello everybody and welcome once again to another episode of Galactic Science 2. We are still on 1.011 hotfix. So, and it isn't quite fixed because the quest database didn't actually reload. In fact, I'll show you that in fact. Let's have a look at that. So if you do, um, it's BQ admin. I'm probably admin, you can't press admin you see. BQ admin default look load and you don't have permission to use this scan command you can go to the um, back and open up the land world and then you can do it from there but it doesn't work anyway so we won't bother with that so the first thing we're going to do today I'm gonna to make a little quick toggle bus I think for the for this bit down here let's do that first of all good I've got some extra cables now haven't I so if I look for glass I've got two ME glass cables here, and I think that's what it needs. It also needs a, a, a lever, if I remember rightly. Can't do that. Like that. We'll make two, of course. One for the toggle bus and one to actually toggle the toggle bus. And let's have a look now for toggle bus as well. It's the one we want, this one, the non inverted. So I should be able to make a toggle bus. Um, and I want to put the toggle bus down here like this. So let's put it down there. And also put beside that the lever. I'll put the lever down here, like, if I can reach that, it's down there. And then we should when we should be, then we'll be able to toggle this toggle bus. We can't see it working at the moment because it's got no power, but we need another glass cable for that. So let's make some more ME glass cables now. I think we should be able to do that, shouldn't we? Let's do it this way. Probably the easiest way. Yep. Yeah, I think we should be able to make. Let's make Oh, yes. Helps if I put the stuff back, doesn't it? Let's make four sets that should be 12 16 yeah exactly let's make some red dye or we should have some red dye about no nope. yes okay rose red it's called so let's clear those off put two of those there and then we can surround that with these we should get some me glass cables red which is what we're using in this base so all i need to do now is put this one down here like that and then I can touch be able to toggle it off and on. And you can see that light goes on and off when we actually toggle it. Which is great. Now the next thing I want to do is that I would like to go come down here and connect these two up. So let's just do that. I've got 21 cables here. That should be enough to do all of this. So I'm going to take it from here. And I'm going to put it on this. I think I want to take it up to the ceiling from about here like that. So we have to go up like that and then we can come down here and we should be able to connect that to there I have to say I want this to be connectable so let's turn that off that side yeah that's it output and that should be fine and that should then connect through which it is doing and then we just come along here and we, we fill this across so let's look I probably might have to jump up a bit and do this I'm a little bit I'm a little bit short or well, the ceiling's a bit high whichever way you look when I think of it just got that one too many <laughs> right come around here we could take this one away we don't need that on there anymore and we bring this one up I want to connect it to about here so we'll just bring it straight down like that so now everything's connected so we should get power into this like that and we are what have we got here we've got some quintuple compressed cobblestone quadruple and some triple compressed cobblestone so that should be working nicely and we should get plenty of hopefully eventually we'll get an octetic compressed cobblestone but that will be a long way away so 
Oh yes, I didn't take these off, did I? I'll use the the less dangerous hammer to do these, I think. There was one thing I was playing around yesterday. Have I got any with me? No, I want them. Um, I'm going to get some torches. There were a few dark zones down there. But I was actually getting a lot more mobs than I should have been for the dark zone. So I'm just going to quickly go through and get some food. Like that. And I'm also going to get some torches. In fact, it might be a good idea to get some more floodlights. Now this... I didn't tell you about this, but Phil Steer also told me the tip about the, the torches. So basically, here I've got space in my inventory here. So let's make a torch. I've got those. Let's make that. Probably not the best way to do that. Is it? Let's do it this way. So if we want a standard torch like this, Minecraft torch, we should be able to shift click it in. And when I bring these down here, they stay as Minecraft torches. So I do a stack, push them up. They still stay as Minecraft torches, and the other ones are the Galactic, Galactic Craft torches, which only change in you when they go to your hotbar. So that gives us the ability to make some of these floodlights, which is actually what I'd also like to do. So let's take a stack of those as well. In fact, I've got more stuff than I need in here. Let's just, no, I can't put anything away in there. Let's put these away. I don't need these at the moment. I don't think, I think we've finished with that for the time being. I've got an export bus. That's right. Yes, I wanted to do that as well. So, Instead of having this on to here like that, it's empty at the moment, and this is also empty. Let's just break this off a bit. What I want to do here is I want to export into here the ores. So if we put on, onto here like this the ME export bus, and then we can just simply cable that up now. And then we come along here, we basically need a capacity card and we need one of each type of ore. So let's go and get a capacity card. I think we need two. Acceleration cards, capacity cards. I've taken ten, I only want two I think, because two should be enough to give me a full thing of um, all nine and I haven't got any space in there I haven't got any ores, broken ores in there yet well we can put a couple in to start with anyway so so what we'll do is we'll put the capacity cards into here like that and then we have nine capacities in here so we just basically need some broken ores so let's take one of those and one of those and now we can come along here and then put those into there. We'll put iron in first and then we'll put in broken aluminium ore. And then any of those will then start to get into the system if I imported these into the system. Which we could do. Let's just have a look what I've got in here. Nothing. I've got some glass in there. I want I actually want to cook up some stone next as well. So let's do that first next thing I want to do. So what I don't I want in here? I probably could put these chests and those away. Actually, I, nope, I'm going to keep those two. Where did they go to? Hopper. Yeah, I've got a hopper. And I would also like some buckets, but I think I've lost my bucket somewhere. Yes, I have. So let's make some buckets. Yeah. I'm going to make four. I don't know where they've gone to, and I want to select water in here, and we'll fill up these four with water. Right, like that. And I'm also going to put these now into the system here, and they should just simply get pushed through and smelted into. So look, maybe we're, too, maybe we're fast enough. Yes, there you go. You see that's actually working, and it's done the two. So what I want to do next, I'm not going to do it just now, I'm going to drag this cable all the way along here. 
I'm just wondering whether I want to drag it in the ceiling. Maybe that's it's neater in the ceiling, isn't it? And then bring it and connect into here like this. Maybe I'll do it at one higher so we don't have to see the cables. Or maybe we'll put some cable facades on it, whichever. So what I'd like to do today is to ex is to do deal with this stuff here. I'd like to automate it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to set my now I'll use this one. I want to do three across. I want five by five actually. So let's come back and see how far we can do it. I think here's probably a good place. And I want to go down two blocks, I think. It's my first time doing this, I'm just guessing what I need. And maybe let's just do that like that. So what I want to do is I want to put water underneath here to catch the to catch the stuff. So that's what the water is for. In fact, actually, therefore, I'd need five, wouldn't I? So let's go and put down first of all some cobblestone. I'm actually, full up. I'd have to put some of this stuff away. Got some XP from somewhere or other. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do, just put it in here for the time being. I'll think about what I want to do with it later on. There are no buckets around in here, are there? Well, that's full. Let's quickly throw those into here. That wasn't... Is that all of them? Yes, that's all of them. Good. So they can then get uh, decomposed. And that's of course is now full with water. We'll come to that later on. So anyway, what I want to do is I also would like some ice, I think, and some stone and some cobblestone. That's right, yes. So I want a stack of cobblestone, and I think I've been not cooking cobblestone yet. I need to cook it. Let's do that first. Well, to be honest with you, I don't need to cook it, but I'd like some ordinary stone. And I'll get some more cobblestone. Actually, this is a bit short of cobblestone, only 10 left. But I'll take these slabs with me and I'll get this. I'll make some more slabs. Like that, 21. And we'll go and get some cobblestone from downstairs because we should have plenty of cobblestone in here. You'll notice I didn't use. Um, tool in case it broke it I've actually had that before a shift shift left clicking on a, with a very powerful tool can actually break things quite nicely yep that's getting nice and full so I would also like some sand I don't know how much sand I've got in the system at the moment let's just check Forty-nine. That'll be enough, I think. Good. So the idea is, I'm going to place some water streams down to catch it. I place the, and place the, um, the cactus above it. So the water streams are going to be down here. So I want basically one block, ab one block above this, as a stream. So I'm going to use the cobblestone for that. So if we leave it, say, one block out like that and then we should be able to come down like this with the cactus and I'm going to break these blocks away later on so on top of this we're going to put sand oh I need to go down one more layer don't I that's no big deal. So we put the sand down here like this. And that's going to be the first block of the it's going to be the ground level of the um the cactus. And we probably we can extend this whichever way we want to. Like that. So I need to go down one more level here. That's going to be a bit more tricky. Let's just do it like this. So 
There are some mobs around as well, so I have to be a little bit careful. I don't want to fall into any caves below. So this is going to be where the water stream is going to go. Like that. So what we're doing going to do now is we're going to put down the water stream. So one bucket. I think I'll start in the middle here like that. Because I'm going to get pushed out of the way. But that's the matter we'll do. We'll carry on. Put down the next one. Put down this one here. And you see this is the range. And what I'm going to do at the end of the range here is where it becomes a little bit more interesting. So we come along here and we should put the fourth bucket here like that. So that everything will get pushed this way. So I'm going to dig here one block below. Like that. And we're going to get some ice and some signs now we have plenty of ice and I want one more bucket of water don't I so we'll get that's ice so we've got ice we want five for the width and one more bucket of water like that but I can put the other buckets away now, so I don't need those at the moment. And I don't need the glass, do I? Let's have a look what else do I need. I think that's it. Basically, I need some signs. This one. We need six. That's fine. And what we do is we put down some signs and some to keep the water from flowing backwards and some and some ice so I'll put the ice down here like this this is real vanilla stuff actually it doesn't uh, like that and then we can put the signs on there and if you hold shift when you push a sign put the sign down it should keep its direction so I think if we do it like that done I mean it keeps it at 90 degrees like this have I done it here? That one. Oops, that was actually 45 degrees. It's actually hard to see, isn't it? But we should have put these down first. Like that. And then you can put more water behind it, which we'll have to do in a minute. So first of all, we'll put this water down here like that. So that's then pushing this way. And then we just need to put some more water behind it, so I know that I need another five buckets of water. I should have made some another bucket, shouldn't I? In fact, we'll do that now while I'm thinking about it. Get me our big go faster. So let's put that in there, and let's get buckets. Let's have a quick look at the recipe for those. Oh, I have to do it from here, don't I? Oh well. could have done that the easy way but for me that is the easy way at the moment what else I've got too much stuff on me here too what don't I need I don't really need these to the for the time being so let's put those away so we have a bit of capacity in our system here and I've finished with the signs I don't need that sign I don't think so let's get some more water like that and we also need a hopper, don't we? Where have the hoppers gone to? I've got one here. I probably need more than one. We'll take a chest as well. Yes, I managed to put those all at 45 degrees. I don't think it matters. Anyway, let's have a look. If you put water down here, it pushes this way. 
which is fine. Let's push the push the bucket back. In fact, I can't. Can I? This can. Four buckets. Let's go up here. In fact, that might be sufficient. This one, this one here, might push it everything towards this corner. Let's just do another one over here in that case. So everything's coming down here. Which is actually great because we can put hopper in a bucket down here now. Let's just do that. Yeah. So we dig down. Oops, didn't mean to do that. That was the the five by five. Well done. I just need to fill it up a bit actually. Too many. Oh no, I haven't. We. <laughs> right, like that. So the water will push us down here. So we can then put a chest, a chest down here like this. And on the chest we can put the um, hopper. Oh, it needs to face into the chest, of course. Let's get the hopper out. Like that. Oh, I think I broke. I think I didn't do that right. Let's try that again. I have to, I have to bash it one. I'm holding down shift. Well, that took a long time. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just put block down say uh, here and then we can stand on this block we should be able to oh, i've got i haven't cleared the roof off have i so that was not such a clever idea so let's try standing on this block now and then we should be able to put the hopper down on this like this and then break this block away holding shift that time so what should happen let's go and test this out it doesn't matter what i put down i think i and maybe those signs are wrong, I don't know yet. Well, I uh, maybe I have to fix it. Do I throw something down, say, here like this? Oh, I need to turn my magnet off, of course. Try that again. It should go down, and it should float. And it should float to the middle here, and then it should carry on floating till it comes out this side. Because the, gla the ice is supposed to let it go over it. But I'm not 100% sure if it's going to work with it with these signs not quite right. Let's just try try that again. Let's see if they actually go through the signs. Well, it seems to be working. A bit strange. There it goes. So that should now be in this chest here. Oh yeah, both two pieces are through down and dropped into that. That's great. So that's how it works. So let's go and harvest this stuff now. And one way to harvest this, the easy way actually, is to put this down. Put a block down there like that. And just pick up the bits. Turn on the magnet, I've got something a good idea. So we've got 31. I don't think that makes complete sense, but it doesn't matter very much. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put these down like this. And of course we're going to put slabs in the, in the gaps. In fact, there's only one. I think we only need to put one set of slabs down here. That's all of them. Yes. So I made the slabs, didn't I? So what I'm going to do is I put a slab down in the middle like this. I'm going to put it on this one here, and then I'm going to go across like that. And I think if I break, I don't know. I'm pressing shift actually. To be honest with you, I was pressing shift. Now there is going to be one problem because we're on the moon. The gravity is going to be too high or too low 
and things that when they break they're going to fly away like that so all we need to do is come along here and break this one and this is where I do press the shift of course yes that looks just about perfect because what happens then is that any of these grow at one they will actually fly up now the problem is because they're gonna fly it flies up and it flies up quite a long way let me just get some of these oops I just harvested it I didn't expect to do that actually I was expected to harvest the carrots and the potatoes okay let's put those back again <laughs> hmm right let's not do it that way let's use the other hammer like that and what I'm going to do here is build a wall around this so let's do that what have I got that make dirt just make dirt will be fine so and I think I'm going to do it too high like that so let's just get the builders wand and carry on I think too high is enough. It's actually difficult. So if you press control, you can carry on that way. I think that'll be enough. come out one more just in case all we need then is to, to actually watch it actually grow um, I suppose one way to do it is to check if something comes into this so let's just take this down a little one layer here so I can actually reach this in fact what I'll do is I'll put a piece of moon dirt down here maybe that one and then just hit this like that will take me down enough so I can reach the chest like that without having to go up and that's it for my automation of uh, uh, cactus that should come into here we should be then be able to take that inside I might be able to take it in automatically and then process that into uh, normal stuff we can, we can extend this out certainly at least another one or two blocks without any problem and all I'm worried about are these signs to be honest with you but the rest of it looks fine the flow looks good so I'm not sure what will happen if I put a block in this corner here let's just try that well they're certainly getting picked up Eleven, smashing. So, oops, I don't know. How I'm going to get out of here now. Actually, I should be able to. Let's just see if I can get out. I didn't intend to fall into that, but I will be honest. I should be able to get out of here, shouldn't I? Yes, I can. Good. So it would be nice just to wait and see if it actually works. I'm sure it will do. But I'm not 100% sure about these skewy signs. I should have made those. I thought if I press shift, it would actually only do it in square, as it were. Never mind. We'll see. So that's that part of it done. And I need to go and quickly go and fill myself up with some food and oxygen, by the looks of it. This one let's put that one in there and let's put some of this stuff away I've got some extra cactus so I can actually put that through here like that 
13. So let's come out of here and just take it. No, I won't do that on camera. I think I'll leave that for another time. But the one last thing I do want to do is to go down here. Is I probably could make some. I can't make any of the vacuum chests. But I could probably make some uh, hoppers. Vacuum hoppers. Oh, this one. I think I told you about that, didn't I? I think I said it was basically from a, an actual slaying a mob directly. So I'm going to build a mob tower in the next episode, I think. That's what the um, the stone is for. And also I need to make some sandy glass because it'd probably be good to be able to see through that. So sandy glass, let's have a look at that one. Don't need to, there's dark glass here. The store is actually planning to make. So sandy glass, we can do this one. So how many do we want? Let's put those into there. 16, I think, would be a good number. No, no let's do 20. And we're also going to make some spikes. I'm going to make some wooden spikes and some... I can't make diamond spikes yet, but I can make some iron spikes. So the idea is I'm going to make some iron spikes for um, the top bit, in case spiders climb up and they'll get killed. But we don't really care too much about their drops. And... Um, some wooden spikes for below for so I can actually slay the mobs which are actually on the ground like that that's what that's for and I think yes I want to show you one more thing I was going to do this earlier on wasn't I down here basically if I press F4 you see most of it is green but not all of it is so what we're going to I'm going to do is put a few floodlights into its place here because I've got a feeling that um, oops it doesn't connect oh so yeah well, that's still dark weird I'll tell you what we'll do we'll put a torch down in this here as well make sure it's lit up I was getting mobs spawning around here and I don't fully understand where they were coming from like that's that's all green there, so that's no big deal. So what I do I wanted to do is I wanted to put a few more uh, floodlights in, in case they were sort of spawning in some strange area, like that. And we'll put a torch down here to make sure that doesn't get lit up. And I'm just wondering if that was related to the up last update. Because there were more mobs in the red zones. I've seen, I've seen just two red zones so far. There's another bit over here, I think. Yes, look. You can fill that in, no big deal. And over here. No, I think that's safe. But I think there was a bit opened, had a bit of opened air in it as well. So let's just come along. This is quite a large area. Because it's six high, just can't quite reach. Have to jump up. I see there's another few bits here, but there was about uh, I don't know. I suppose there were about 20, 20 zombies down here, so I didn't really, I couldn't quite understand as to why I'd get so many. Right, I'll put the last floodlight down here like that. And I think there's a bit of open air, but I don't think they'd be falling in yeah, that in that level. So many of them. Yes, you see there's a bit here that's not quite right. Can I reach that? Yes, I can. Good. I can't fill that up. I've got no more. I'll need some dirt. So just have another quick walk around, see if there's anything else that's red. Because there's a lot of tunnels underneath here. I've told you that already, but there are a lot. Oh, look, it's a bit corny here. That didn't, not the right one, never mind. And there's just... You'll certainly get one mob from that, from those little areas. So 
So I don't think you can't get through there anyway. So, and it's well, it seems to be well lit up. So I don't know. But it seems to be, it seems to be better lit up now. So we'll see if that actually happens again. It was just really a bit of information in case you are doing the same thing and you're finding mobs. I'm not sure what the cause was. Anyway. So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Next time we're going to start on the mob grinder. Where I can do that properly. So until then, bye for now. <laughs>